morning. Good morning. I have a visitor at 9.30. Please, let me know. Yes, understood. What a pretty smile. She's our company receptionist, Takahashi-san. She's beautiful, but because of her seamless aura, there are no men who come near her. Simply put, she's hard to approach. My name is Takenobu Kasaoka, and I had the same impression. Thank you for meeting with me today. Thank you for visiting us. This is just between us, but I look forward to visiting your company. There's a beautiful woman there I can't stop admiring. Oh, I see. You even make women fall in love with you? Takahashi-san, your power. When she smiles, her attack power must be really high. Isn't she always smiling? I don't mean a business smile, but a smile from the heart in her personal life. Her normal smile? Hmm. I can't imagine. I have no idea what she smiles about. Right? She's mysterious. Ah, oh, that's her charm as well. She's just a fan. Oh, excuse me. We need to have a meeting. Yes. As Kaga-san, a female business partner, said, Takahashi-san's personal life was shrouded in mystery. Because temporary staff receptionists don't attend departmental drinking parties and almost never get involved in the office. Well, that's how it is with receptionists everywhere. All right. I have something I look forward to every week. It's going home to my parents. Tai-chan, it's your uncle! Uh, you came again? What's wrong with coming to see my adorable nephew? Besides, this is my parents' house too. Right, Tai? Aren't you glad to see me? Ah. Look, he says he's happy. I don't know about that. I was so excited when my nephew Taiga was born after my sister had a baby back home. I was afraid to carry him when he was smaller. But now that I can carry him in my arms, I'm always attached to him like this. Tai, what do you want to do with your uncle today? Stop talking like that. Oh, he's got some weird habits right now. Be careful. Weird habits? Oh. Ow, ow, ow! Don't pull my hair! It's my precious hair! I do that on my day off so I can go to work on Monday with a clear head. My nephew's power is unbelievable. Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful day. Have a nice day. Yes. Oh, Tomonaga. It's a nice day today. Morning? I don't care about the weather from a Monday. The only thing I check is if I need an umbrella. You're such a happy guy. Kasaoka-san? Kaga-san from Utano Company is on the phone! Thanks. Put him through. It's Kasaoga. Yes, yes. Understood. Phew. Was there trouble? No. Tomorrow we're going to have dinner as a friendly get-together. Ah, you got the right person. Aha, I see. What's with the grin? No, 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 it's nothing. I see, I see. Huh? You're a creepy guy. Putting Tomonaga, who's acting strangely, aside. I'm in charge of finding a restaurant for the dinner with Kagasan. All right, where shall we go? Thank you for your hard work. Thank you for your hard work. Oh, do you know of any restaurants that women would enjoy? That women would enjoy? Yes. Somewhere not too formal, reasonably fashionable, not smoky, where we can enjoy a conversation. I see. With who, by the way? It's someone you know as well. She comes here for meetings from time to time from Utano Company. Oh, that woman. The one who always has a smile on her face. Yes. I'm sure she's elated when she meets Takahashi-san. So... Do you have any idea what kind of restaurant she might like? Let's see... What? Hmm? What? Uh, uh, ways? What? How many... What? Since when? <laughs> What's wrong? What kind of spell is that? Uh, I apologize, I was distraught. Please, calm down! <sighs> <sighs> I'm glad you're breathing fine now. Let's see, how about McDonald's? It's a restaurant associated with Steve Jobs. 
I think you're making a lot of misunderstandings. Hmm, that didn't help. I don't know what that was about earlier. She always has a perfect smile like an android, but it looked like she broke down. The next day, I had dinner with Kaga-san as an extension of our afternoon meeting. It's a stylish place. My sister told me about it. She's on maternity leave right now, but she's working nearby. I see. If she has any other recommendations, I'd love to hear them. I'll ask next time. Even though we're business partners, we come up with plans together with Utano Company, so I can talk casually with Kagasan. It's nice to talk like this with someone outside of the company. I was thinking the same thing. I only talk to people in the company or my family. So, your girlfriend is from the company? <laughs> I don't have a girlfriend inside or outside the company. What? So, 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 so? Does it mean we're friends like that? <sighs> I thought Kasuoka san would be a hard man. Hmm? I think we're not on the same page. If you show it to me like that, I can't help but butt in. If you want to hide it, let's hide the hickey too. Hickey? What are you talking about? You haven't noticed? Look, right there. Kaga-san happily lent me a hand mirror. The reflection is of a dull man, and around his neck... What? What is this? Did someone do that to you while you were sleeping? Hmm? Hmm? No, no, no! What is this? It's not a bug bite! Ah! Uh, I remember! When I went back home... He has a habit of sucking anything that touches his mouth. Be careful! Ugh. Ouch! My nephew did this. He probably did it to me every week. That's how it went. Jeez, that's a cute story. Right? He's adorable. But you're in trouble. I bet people think it's your girlfriend's hickey. What? That's embarrassing. Uh, today one of my colleagues was grinning at me. Maybe. It's about that, isn't it? Ugh. I'll clear up the misunderstanding tomorrow. We started the dinner party right after the meeting, so we broke up at 8 p.m. I wish company drinking parties were like this. I enjoyed the dinner meeting with Kaga-san. I'm glad she told me about the mark on my neck. Oh, it's Tomonaga calling. Hello? Can you talk now? I just wanted to ask about your girlfriend. You're a man of leisure if you're talking about the hickey. What? What is that ending? I was just talking with the female employees about what kind of girlfriends you have. Stop participating in girls' nights out. I also told the receptionist. Huh? There's a really pretty receptionist, right? I told her this morning that one of my colleagues got a new girlfriend. You have to spread the good news, right? No, no, no! What did you do?! I wonder if the receptionist is still at work. It's after hours. I'm sure she's gone home. Damn. <sighs> she's not here. Maybe if I come early tomorrow morning, I'll have time to talk to her. But I'm sure she's busy in the morning. Kasaoka san? Receptionist! What? Oh, she's in her normal clothes. Are you in overtime? Oh no, it's not that, but. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I desperately trying to clear up the misunderstanding about having a girlfriend? Kasaoka san, you don't look well. No, I'm fine. Why are you still at the office, Takahashi-san? I came to pick up something I forgot, and when I was leaving, I saw Kasaoka-san at the reception desk, so I thought I'd ask if there's anything I could do for you. She has a perfect smile even though it's after hours, but yesterday she showed me a different face, and I want to see more expressions from her that aren't smiles. I came back from the dinner party to talk to you. To me? Yes. It seems my colleague spread a false rumor. I don't have a girlfriend! I haven't had one in years! Is that so? That's right! This hickey is from a guy! g g, -g guy It's my nephew! He's zero years old, and he has a habit of putting and sucking everything in his mouth! And when I was holding him, he sucked on my neck! That's what I came back to tell you! Y you went out of your way for that? I didn't want you to misunderstand that I have a girlfriend, otherwise... I wouldn't be able to approach you! What? What? Whoa! I confessed my feelings to her in the spur of clearing up the misunderstanding! 
Do you have feelings for me, Kasoka-san? Yes, I do. I've been interested in you for a long time. I want to get to know you better. I want to get close to you. Is that so? She's only been saying, is that so, from a while ago. Of course she would be flustered if I say things like this out of the blue. <laughs> She's crying? Was I bothering you that much? Oh, I'm just so happy. I'm so relieved. When I saw the hickey, I thought you had started dating someone for Utano Company. I was so distraught. <laughs> oh, she was acting strange yesterday because she noticed the hickey. In other words, does this mean that you like me too, Takahashi-san? Er, yes. There's only a few employees who remember my name. She's so cute. Could you tell me your first name, Takahashi-san? It's Kimika. The kanji from Hope and Mika. Just like the Kano sisters. Kimika, huh? Kimika Takahashi-san? Will you go out with me? Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Oh. What? Is that a no? Yes, we can't like this. What? Even if it is your nephew, I will not tolerate someone else's hickey. Can I override it? You would do that? If it's okay with you. Of course it is. Please. As many as you want. And so, I became Kimika's boyfriend. Kimika is a very expressive woman and a crybaby. Goodness! The shelter kitty finally came out of its cage! Yeah, that's great. Here's a tissue. <laughs> Even though I started dating Kimika, I still visit my parents' house from time to time. My nephew is the second most beloved thing in my life, after Kimika. Here, Tai! Suck me as hard as you want today, too! And I'll have Kimika override it. Isn't he a gross uncle? Yeah! 